when you are married, you have, in my opinion, more of a responsibility to try to mend the relationship. Hey y'all, so today we're going to be looking at Mariah Melody. This is a Japanese themed land. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Shy in Second Life and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you guys are interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So this land is actually a land that I've been wanting to show you guys for quite some time, but you know, I gotta get around to it when I get around to it. It's quite a busy land, although it is not very large, and I really do like that. I love all the colors that they have. You know, I love a good Japanese themed land. So I really, really liked what I saw when I landed down and I'm very interested in seeing like what all they have to offer. So today I'm actually in the Black Dragon Viewer on Firestorm yesterday. It just was crashing and I was very um, leery about um, filming or recording rather and having to deal with anything kind of like crashing. I knew that I was not interested in having to like stop and re-record because Firestorm crashed. So I said, you know what, we're gonna check out um, Black Dragon and Black Dragon's been acting like it got some sense thus far. So I'm really excited about that. But everything looks so nice here. I love how they have um, all the people. He's a little transparent. We, we don't know why he's transparent. That ain't got nothing to do with us. See, I'm a little, my little Tang Hulu. So um, all of the mesh people that they have here, they look so super cool. You know, I love, I love a good shine. I love a good shine. So you guys, thank you all so much for being so understanding um, last week. I did feel some type of way about not being able to record, but I simply was not in the right headspace to record and I'm not gonna be on here um, faking the funk. I'm not doing that with y'all and I just really feel like y'all would have, y'all would have would clocked it. Y'all would have really been able to tell. Um, you know, sometimes you want to be able to push through certain things when things happen in um, life, but sometimes, sometimes you do just need to take a little bit of time to kind of regroup and get your mind together. And so that's really what I did. I tried many times to record and every time I would get as far as to log on, I would even come to this land. When I tell you guys, I would stand in one spot and then just log off and go to sleep. It was like that. Like, very, very trying times. I'm not going to get into it, get into it. But um, I'm just really, really grateful and thankful for um, everyone really just giving me grace um, during this time. Because it was a very, very much so needed. Um, we are still growing and going strong. So, I'm really, really happy about that as well. So initially earlier today we had the air on and so i was trying to get that little lavalar TikTok on mic to work it was giving me problems it was giving me problems i love her little outfit everything has like a little it's like a futuristic type feel to it because like look at him he looks kind of cyborgy but then you'll have like people that don't look like him that just have a very regular flair he look mean but then you have like this guy back here where he's just like so what's on the menu what am i gonna order very like regular you know so i don't know i kind of like that i love that there's food everywhere you guys know how i feel about the food in second life he's chilling vibing out so yeah i don't know if i said um but i'm not in the shared environment although the shared environment for this land looks super duper cool it um, was simply too, too dark for um, recording, in my opinion. You just wouldn't get the full feel of everything um, in that lighting. But if you're in Second Life, I don't know what it would look like on the Firestorm Viewer, but it was kind of dark on the Firestorm Viewer as well um, when I had first landed down. Um, so 
I say experience it in the intended in the intended light because the lighting is very nice. It's very very nice. But when we are touring around and really just trying to see things, we won't be able to see anything. So they have lots of little yummy yummy food here. Lots of yummy food. So you guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about just like some random stuff i you know what because yeah we we're gonna talk about it how y'all feel about that whole uh cardi b thing you know i don't really get into stuff like that i don't really keep my ear to the street i kind of just like get the info as i'm like walking past you know but i don't really like keep my ear to the street like that so she's pregnant like we a lot of people already knew you know when the when the performers they normally dress like half naked and then they start wearing like big shirts and stuff like that it's like okay yeah we know we know but but keep your privacy because what you got to do we we get it though so offset has been being offset and he has um, apparently cheated again and so she's like i'm getting a divorce for me you know I'm not I'm, I've never been married so I'm not I don't really I don't have any knowledge when it comes to um, the ins and outs of a lot of things when it comes to that but what I will say is in my opinion she's been dealing with him being unfaithful since the beginning of their marriage i don't know if he was doing this before they got married but i just feel like uh, three kids and you ain't about to leave me with no three kids I, i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry we we gonna have to tough it out we gonna have to figure something out and that's just gonna be that uh you know i'm all for doing what's best for you and not staying in any situations where you have to like go through a lot of crap but three kids in is wild it's wild and then the youngest he's like still in pampers or he might just just be getting out of pampers he's very young what is this space oh can i get in here yes so i'm just like girl i get it but all the other times he's cheated you have turned the other cheek and stayed with him i feel like the more kids you have you do <sighs> you you gotta feel a sense of kind of being stuck although you don't have to be stuck and i know a lot of people are like well you know she's rich and then okay you could be rich but don't nobody want to have to raise no children by themselves i'm not saying that he won't be a part of the ch the child the children's lives but what i am saying is all his other kids mother he had three children previous by three different women and they all had issues with him stepping up when it came to the kids whether or not he's doing it now um in the beginning that was not the case so they were saying in the very beginning that cardi b was telling him like you know you can't be with me if you don't take care of your kids so you're not around your kids so he started being around his kids i don't know how much truth that it is to that but that is something that i heard so don't quote me on it all this food looks super duper yummy and i'm just like listen if you had to if let's say you did have to tell this man like you have to take care of your children if you want to be with me i love this artwork to me i feel like that's a red flag right there that's a red flag and if you have to tell a man to take care of his children in order to be with you that means that he definitely was not doing it on his own and that also means that if you decide to have children with him you can kind of understand what you're going to be dealing with to knowingly have children with a man who had issues with being in his children's lives the way that he should have been initially should tell you all you need to know when it comes to having children with somebody like that so i just kind of feel like oh money money is very helpful when you have children but i'm a firm believer that when you start to have multiple children especially when you are making money so cardi b is a millionaire they both are but 
as I'm sure everybody knows, millionaires don't become millionaires the majority of the time by just sitting in the house doing nothing. So you're going to have to be out that house doing what you need to do in order to keep the money flowing in. Having three children is a lot of responsibility. So yeah, you can get a nanny and things like that. But Cardi B seems like she's a very hands-on mom. And although she's going to have help, it's going to get more difficult every child. And so it just seems like every time i really like how they have this packaged up you see all the colors here the colors are so pretty and vibrant it just seems like every time he cheats on her he'll like come back and get her pregnant i don't know if it's like to keep her busy so that she don't have to worry about what's going on with him or if it's just like a super weird coincidence the artwork here is really nice i really really like it it does have like a futuristic type vibe to it but I do like that. I do do like it. So I'm just like if everybody else is seeing the pattern, why isn't she seeing the pattern? Or maybe she is seeing the pattern and she's just like, I'm okay with it. I get the whole I want to have all my children by one person. I get that. I do get that logic. However, um, it is a lot to put on yourself, and I know that. Having children is no joke. Having multiple is even less of a joke. But I also know that nobody wants to have a unhappy pregnancy. That's such a fragile time for a woman. And so to be put in a position where you have to go through all this turmoil with your husband, going through a divorce. Now, there have been many times where she has filed for divorce and then they ended up staying together. And I totally understand that. The thing that bothers me is people who are like, you need to leave him. It's like, first of all, shut up. You know, um, everyone can give their opinion on things, of course, just like I'm doing right now. But I feel like when it comes to marriage, marriage, when you are married, you have, in my opinion, more of a responsibility to try to mend the relationship. You're not in just a regular boyfriend, girlfriend, it's over, so let me leave type thing. This is a marriage. So this is something that you really need to try to work through if it is able to be worked through at all. And so I do feel like that is something that they both have tried to do. One thing that I will say, oh, is that a little kitty cat? I love the little animals. Many men and women but but we're gonna talk about the men many men will cheat on you when all they have are two halves of a penny to rub together they would cheat on you so it's like what do you think they're gonna do when they get some money and they're already a cheater are all men cheaters i don't believe so i do i believe everybody has the ability to be a cheater you know, I don't think that it is specifically something that is just something that men do, um, of course. But I do feel like they are very sloppy with it. And that is why I feel like they are more synonymous with being the cheaters. Because they don't put a lot of um, effort, in my opinion, to hide it. Like, you know, you should be doing it. You're a damn cheater. So if you meet a man and... He has money. It's different with men. It's like with women, most men, I'm not going to say all because it'll never be all of anybody. Most men are not difficult to attain. They're definitely not difficult to sleep with. With a woman, although women are not um, crazily difficult to sleep with, a lot of us, you know, it's just that's how it is. For a lot of women, they have um, things where if you got a little bit of money, we'll go. If you do some nice stuff to uh, for us, we'll go. If you look like you have the ability to do something for us that we would like for you to do for us, we'll go. And so you do have to put in a little bit of effort, maybe not a lot, you know, but put a, li a little bit of effort, you know, get get get, get the girlie a four for four or something like that, you know, and, and she'll go. She'll do what you need her to do and you can go ahead and move around. So I just feel like when it comes to um, men, when they have money, it really doesn't bother them to spend the money because they knew they were going to have to do that anyway. And so... 
I feel like if you're already a cheater, then when you get money, you're definitely going to just go crazy with it. He was caught at a casino with his pregnant ex-girlfriend who the father of her child um, is deceased now. And so that's very sad. But my thing is, you guys were both at the casino. How cool does she look? You guys are both at the casino together at the same casino table together. And he's like, that's a coincidence that it's not what you think. And then for him to say, do you guys really think I would cheat publicly? Cheat publicly. It's, it's really in the words as to say, when I cheat, I cheat privately, but I still cheat. I would never cheat publicly because how sloppy is that? If you are cheating and you get caught cheating, you're already sloppy, you know? You're already sloppy. So even if we didn't know, Cardi B found out about it every time. And so you're still being sloppy. You're still being sloppy. So we're running a little long. Don't forget where we left off. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in part two.